Hey guys, this is uh, my podcast, I named Drunk Podcast, where I buy beer for my guests and let them drink it until they're drunk and I start asking questions. Yo, yo, before I start this video real quick, I'm, uh, I'm doing a new thing today, starting, uh, start doing Drunk Podcast, I got featuring the only one eight. how you doing the only one eight? I'm doing great. You are doing great. All right, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, and you're going to answer them the best of your ability, and you're going to just keep on drinking, all right? Until you feel buzz enough to answer the best questions you can, all right? Sounds good. All right, sounds good. All right, man. So I know you like skateboarding a lot and stuff, but what really inspired you? What was the whole idea of skateboarding? What what what, what brought you, like, your mind just to start it? Oh, I love skateboarding. You just loved it? That's it? Like, there's... Uh, skateboarding is... Everything to me. Everything to you, okay. If you, if you, okay, if something tragic would have happened, for example, you know, you know, you, you know, just for saying everyone has that fear of breaking something, right? All right, if you, if you would have broken some, that, that, you know, that, that still, you know, that fear would have been overcome, or, you know, things are keeping you back. Yeah, if, if I broke a bone and I couldn't skate anymore? Yeah. If you broke a bone, for example, oh, we can do two scenarios. Okay, first one, you broke a bone, right? Isn't too bad. You broke your knee, your left knee, whatever. Okay. How how, how would you feel in the in that moment? It just reco- you know, recuperating feel, your mind, you know. I feel one hundred percent bummed. You feel bummed? Yeah, because I can't skate. Mm. But no matter what, I would always want. Oh, you're cutting off. Can you repeat that? I would always want to be inside a skateboarding. Always inside a skateboarding, okay. I don't know, the second scenario, if if it's like a, I can say, your little mini hobby career that ended you, you know, ended your skating and you can't skate anymore at all. Um, what are the things you'll do? Well, you know what? Skateboarding isn't meant to be serious. Mm-hmm. Skateboarding is to have fun. That's all that matters. Okay, that's all that matters. But what would happen if something just, you know, would have happened like that, you know? I would keep skating and like, have if, fun. If they say, for example, you're, like, you're paralyzed in the leg, in the bottom. Oh. Like, how would you, like, like how, how would, you know? like, I would always want to be inside a skateboard. Yeah? Always, okay. I like that. It's, it's very incredible to hear that, you know, that's, that's something, something rare you don't hear as much. Like, you always want to be something inside a skateboard and, like you just want to get known just for like that guy that skates, or you just want to be out there just having fun. I just want to be known for the guy that has fun skateboarding. Mm. Just like all those guys in his video parts and stuff like that, or you, you like those people just in there. Yes, sir. Man, okay, yeah, it's very interesting. So I know you have a friend working at a skate shop, and I'm. How's that feel working? You know, being in that environment. Yeah, just in there. What? Uh, being inside a skate shop environment? Yeah. How do you feel about that? Inside a skate shop is something that should be more uh, practice, I can say. More practice? Or more uh, done. And more influence. More done and more influence. What do you mean by that? Like, you know, inf- influencing, like, the younger I mean, generation? Like, or? I mean, like, people should hang out at skate shops mm-hmm. and not be intimidated or... Mm-hmm. I don't know what to say, but... Skate shop is what brings many people together and keeps people skating. For example, myself. Mm-hmm. I have been provided with many, many things, and it has helped me become the person who I am in skateboarding now. Man, oh, sorry about the lag cards out here. Just a little fast, guys. Live in a dangerous neighborhood. Man, it's, it's, it's very incredible. What about all the beers and stuff, you know? What keeps you on drinking, you know, just to have that little hypeness inside of you? Or, you know, that, that's, a, that's always an important thing to ask. That beer. Number one. Mm. 
If you don't drink beer, you're not Latino. Mm, oh, oh, God damn. All right. Uh. And I don't know. You just got to stay revved up. Man, revved up with beer. What's your favorite beer of all time? If, if you would have it on the table right now in front of you. Beer. Right now, I'm drinking Pabst Blue Ribbon. Isn't that like white boy stuff? Uh, it's, it's American, buddy. It's American. Uh, Gotta love America. America? All right. Pabs, isn't it Pabs? Any, isn't it twice it's as strong? Are. Isn't it just twice as stronger than regular beer or less? Uh, it's just regular beer. Oh, uh, regular beer. Okay. I love the United States. That, and mine has to be favorite. The coat was it, forty five or three oh five? I think it was thirty four, four oh five or something. I don't remember. I don't know my beers too well. I just drink whatever is there sometimes. Man. So. What is like what is what is like the craziest time what is like the craziest drunk moment you had? The craziest drunk moment. Yeah, just think of it in your mind. It'll for sure have to be uh college parties, but I gotta think. Or not college well yeah, it'll obviously be at a college party or because of a college party, but uh let me think. I think I don't know, dude. I had lots of times. I remember one time mm. I was like the most drunk I've ever been. Mm. I remember just like screaming that I'm fucking drunk and mm. like people being hyped on me because I was drunk, mm. and it made me hyped. It was super sick. It's like the um, best best moment you had right there. Right there. I love. Yeah, I love. I love being under the influence. <laughs> it's sick. It's like it makes friends. Mm. You're like you're a confidence like at one hundred every time. Mm. Most importantly, because it makes friends. That's Especially when you're at a party. A very true statement. You know, some people. You know, with alcohol. Some people have different. Different mind. Either you're that emotional one, that one that likes fighting, or that just the chill one that's always hyped and having fun. See, those are the good kind, you know, the ones that always have if, fun. Uh, the last if, two. If, if alcohol gets you sad or mad, don't be drinking alcohol. Things like, that, uh, go smoke weed or something. Go be a weirdo, mm-hmm. pussy ass bitch. <laughs> don't be drinking alcohol. Well, don't be drinking alcohol. Like, okay. Yeah, that's a good no. message to send out to people because honestly, a lot of people don't know the reason behind like drinking but sometimes you know it can kill you slowly inside but that's if you abuse it you know no one's abusing it. Nah, bro i'm abuse. latino i'm immune to that shit all right oh shit you're immune to that shit all right it's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie that's incredible how long you been skating for like uh you know exactly years i've skating since i was 13 13 but then you I stopped for a bit 21 of years. years old now okay 13 never mind since then, I have yet to stop. I learned how to ollie when I was nine, but I I stopped. Came back when I was thirteen. And I am twenty one years old now, so that makes fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. That makes it eight years that I have been skating. Eight years. Wow, time has been going so fast, huh? Eight years. Yeah, I think eight years skateboarding is starting to show itself mm. today i was skating and having a blast mm. saw some dudes that look really good maybe even on a company mm. i wouldn't say i'm on the same level but like i can keep up you know what i mean mm. i'm just kidding i fucking suck at skating Hey, skating's about having fun, you know. You see all those guys, how you can say F.A. and stuff, all those guys skate amazingly good, but they're having fun and they're skating their own way, you know? F.A. F.A. is a cool company. It's just... Mm. It's just sort of strange in a way, but they're strange in their own type of way. Mm, okay. Hey, they are We're talking about sure. companies. We're going to be talking about 917, right, dude? Uh, all right, dude, you know. That's, that's a pretty cool company. I like them. They're, they're cool. Zons, everyone's having fun and doing their tricks, you know. 
because everyone got their own fatigue, yeah. you know, in the moment. Yeah, nine one seven is a. So, what do you think about Scott shows? Big influence on me. Scott shows. Uh, Scott shows are tight. They're chill. They're not as hardcore. Mm. They're not as hardcore, yeah, but they're trying chill. to get chicks. There's chicks there. It's, it's mm. cool. If you're trying to get dudes, there's dudes there. Like, it's cool. The dancing is tight. Mm. Yeah. That's the that's the whole purpose of the Scott shows. Big influence out there for everyone, right? Big influence. Uh, Scott shows not an influence to me. I was talking yeah. about nine one seven. Well, nine one seven is okay. You want to talk about my influences? Yeah. What is? What are your influences? Well, I'm. Like I said, I'm influenced by 917. Man. Uh, Ronnie Sandoval is another one. Mm. Always will be Brian Herman. Brian Herman. Uh, Brian Herman, the fucking legend. Amazing. Baker legend. Uh. Nick Stain is sick. Man. Let's see. Wade Spare, I've usually started getting into. I'm into transition. Mm-hmm. Oh. What What is one crazy story you can tell people? A crazy story. I'm talking about beyond crazy. You have crazy. stories, yeah. Nothing in the top of my head besides almost getting run over I was actually a billion there. times. I remember that first time. Oh, you were there one time. I've almost been run over plenty of times. Yeah, car, cars these days don't care. People that drive them. Uh, hmm. I think... Uh, skateboarding is something very... Uh, very amazing. Skate. I'm not gonna lie. Skateboarding just connects people in the whole world and makes them just unite as one. If you skate, then I mess with you. You know, whatever. It's like there's no ifs or buts. It's like I don't like you. I don't want to skate with you. You just skate whoever's there. You know, have fun. That's yeah. What I'm, yeah. It's giving me lots of stuff. Exactly. That's why. Not just. Mm-hmm shoes or boards or whatever it has given me uh lots of friends lots of experiences like if it wasn't for skateboarding i wouldn't be going to new york in a couple weeks oh, there you go if you if you didn't skate it at all what would you be doing at the moment if you had- fucking square ass bitch that's what i'd be I'd be some fucking loser smoking weed like every other fucking weirdo. I'm just kidding. But nah, you... y'all are weird who smoke weed. Mm-hmm. Except my homie Albert and Abraham, they're cool. You know, those are the next people I have to get in my podcast because those guys are creative. They they will, they're outrageous people, but they'd be hilarious. They're fucking. They're my buddies. Mm-hmm. Love those guys. Mm-hmm. I love those guys too. They can they're. They're really creative when it comes to little combat situations, I can say. Anything. But they're amazing, guys. Uh, you have anything else to say? Anything? Anything? I don't know. I want to talk about skateboarding. That's what I'm here for. That's what you're talking about, skateboarding? Hey, skateboarding is the best thing. I'm going to shoot something out. I shoot a question about skateboarding to me. All right, what's the hardest trick for you? At the moment, you can think of the back of the head. Oh, I just that's, trick. That'll take you a while, but you know you can do it. Switch manual. Switch manual. Okay. Yeah. This is switch, switch manual. manual something hard. On transition, what I'm trying to learn on transition is a back tails. Oh, God damn. I'm trying to learn back tails. I'm going to be so hyped. Man. also trying to learn... Trying to learn how to overcrook on a rail. I think I got it. I just got to go for it. Trying to learn how to pull on the ledge. Mm. Are you 
definitely most got it. I got shit I'm trying to do. Actually, I got a, I got a list. You got a I list? I got my list. <clears throat> For the video I'm trying to come out with that I have not. It should have came out a long time ago, but it still hasn't come out. Came out, sorry. Mm. So, I wanted a Smith... The Normandy rail, but it got capped, so that's no longer a thing. I wanted a no slide, the USC planner. Mm. Still haven't done that. No slide, a Hanro or Hubba. Most kind of probably be more heading. I'm, yeah, I'm going to be heading more towards the Hubba on that one. Mm. The board slide, a Hanro. I want a board slide, the 8 star at USC. Uh, something on transition, uh, for sure skating like the deep end of a bowl. Mm. Uh, tail slide two seventy shove out. I want to pull jam to seven Avenue Hill. That's by my house. That's just sick ass pull jam. Tried it before, got wop, but I think I got it now. That's very good. I want to drop into that rail. By uh, 30 seconds in front of the school by USC. Wow. Uh, Is that the only thing? Yeah, some shit I want to do. That's some. Not some super sick shit, but like. Shit for myself, you know? Yeah, I feel happy about Yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> whole point of skating like that that learning too as well having fun you know what I mean oh, hell yeah who wouldn't have fun like that man skateboarding mm. is such a cultural thing it's just for sure yeah. there's more cool. than just a hobby mm. don't want to sound corny or cheesy but mm. it's more than just a hobby. It's actually a good workout thing, too. Uh, it's a workout. Yeah. You go outside. You sweat. Everything. It's the best thing. One of, one of the most funnest things, honestly. There's so many tricks you can do. And so many things you can do in your way. That's what makes it the best. It's all about having fun. It's all about having fun, huh? Nothing else. Wow. So, after years and years of skating, do you just picture yourself as something or for the future as well? What do you mean? Do I picture myself something? Yeah, in skating. Like what? What do you What do you think in ten years from now? That skate That skateboarding mindset. Uh. What would you think would happen uh, ten years? I don't know. Just a good for guess. Sure, yeah. For sure, one big dream of mine is opening up a skate shop. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, opening up a skate shop is for sure a big thing for me. Would you open up a skate shop or a clothing brand? Like, you know, sort of like Supreme, but also, nah, you know. Skate shop. Skate shop better? Yeah. Okay. You know what exactly where in the area a skate shop would you open up? Your hometown? I would for you know? sure want to do it here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where I grew up. Yeah. Skating. Exactly. Uh, you know, you like to go to one of your favorite skate shop lotties, you know. How fucking long, love uh, depending how long you know how long that skate shop would ever be there if it's there forever then hey a bunch of people go in there and yeah, keep forever mm -hmm. I mean I, I hope the best for that skate shop it's exactly. kept me skating kept many people yeah, skating exactly yeah. kept me skating that's all I think about now is that same as well just Watch video parts? Sorry, I gotta go skate now. I gotta watch video parts each day on YouTube. It's, like, it's actually every day, actually. I apologize. Every day, anyone random, whoever's on Thrash, I'm gonna watch them, whatever, whoever. Oh, I can learn this. Whatever. That's the best thing.
just a non-stop of learning mm. process. Skate videos. I've been on been on the Wade Sphere videos, like I said. Mm. Been on transition mostly. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to skate big boy pools now. Okay. You know, I got to get a helmet and some pads maybe, but a couple of WAP sessions, you know, here and there, and everything would be perfect, right? Yeah. Indeed, that's how it is. Yeah, it's just, uh, sometimes I wish I didn't have to do anything else but skateboard, but. Hey, there's, a, there's always work. a way to find a dream in them. Have, uh, you know, it's an amazing thing to have. A goal and a dream too to to be able to do it. Anything can take you anywhere if you just find the way how to do it properly. That's it. As long as you stick to it and stick to your mind, and that's it. It's a wrap. If anything, skateboarding brings out so much courage inside of you, things you never knew you had inside you. That's what it does. Confidence. It brings out confidence so much. You fight fear. You fight fear every day with I it. On your fears. I did. I worked on my fear like today. I wanted to get better at my manuals, and I was like, I don't want to fall no more forward. Boom! I worked on it. Just want to work on my fears each time, and you know, keep growing, keep getting better. That's the whole key. Skate faster. Yeah. Skate faster. You skate better. It's a whole time process. Yeah. How do you get so good at skating? Mm -hmm. you just keep skating. If you do, you have to, you know, do you have to skate fast? You know, obviously to do your obstacle stuff, or do you have to just skate just for fun, just like that? Uh, skating fast. I feel like it's more of a style kind of thing or it's more of a thing you do to mm. feel and sort of look sicker mm -hmm. more of a feel than a look okay but yeah, it's getting fast sick one reason i like transition is because you go fast if you pump hard enough mm-hmm do you know any skaters that doesn't skate that fast as much? No. No? None of them? It's a good way. Skating fast is the best way. A lot of people... Oh, I mean, if you're, like, filming, she gotta skate fast. Can't be skating slow. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to pause this. I gotta go check outside real quick. Give me one second. Let's go get uh, another beer. I'll be back as well. Actually, I'm back. I'm, oh, I'm here. I'll be back real quick. I'm going to go get another beer. Yeah, so on. Um, sorry, continue on. We continue in this? Yeah. Alright. That sounds <laughs> like a... My cuta. Mm-hmm. Crack this baby open. Yeah, man. What you want to know about, bro? You want to know about my life? You want to know about... Yeah, well, just, like, give me something about, about your life. You're supposed to be letting me know and shit. Honestly, tell me about yeah, your life. Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, I'm a skateboarder. I've been skating for eight years. Mm. I am a senior in college. It's mm. good. Uh, I am going to graduate, hopefully, this uh, spring with a mm -hmm. uh, degree in English. Mm -hmm. wow. uh, 
you plan on doing with anything with that major? Uh, I don't know, maybe write for a magazine, mm -hmm. hopefully for skateboarding. Oh, okay. But now I'm I'm going I'm going in my small business route. Like I said, I want to start a skate shop. Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna be my uh my my goal. Mm. Like your very own skate shop? Uh... My very own skate shop. Don't know what it's gonna be called. Don't know what how it's gonna be like. Not partnered or nothing. No, why would it be partnered? Hey. It's going to be mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. wanted to be just like mm -hmm. the two skate shops I look up to. Those being Lottie Skate Shop and Ab mm -hmm. Skate Shop. Wow. That's incredible. Tell me more about Amp because, you know, everyone knows, a lot of people know about how Lottie's, but do a lot of people know about Amp these days or... A lot of people, but the people who live in the Humboldt County know about Amp. Mm -hmm. Amp is a skate shop in Arcata, California, a small college town. Mm -hmm. That college being Humboldt State University, school I attend. Uh, Arcata is a beautiful town. If anyone ever has a chance to visit it, I would 100% recommend. Mm hmm Living out there is amazing. People that live out there are amazing. Mm -hmm. So, wow. really beautiful part of California. Redwood Forest is insane. Wow. You would be amazed how tall trees are. Crazy. Tall trees, man. Huh? Redwood trees grow tall as hell. Redwood trees, wow. Uh... One of the tallest trees in the world. If you didn't go to Humble, what school would you have gone to? Best school? I'd probably be at CSUN or Costa LA. Mm. I'm 100% happy that I went to to Humboldt State. Good. It's amazing. I love I love it out there. Perfect. Humble County is uh, almost like a second home to me. That's perfect. You can say that. Humble County. My home would always be uh Los Angeles. Mm. Los Angeles is uh will forever be my home. That's perfect. No other place. LA, it's a city of angels, you know, that's how I call it. Rough area. Everything works through time. All right, we're gonna ask you. Uh, I'm gonna ask you one more good question. I'll make it the best question. All right. If you didn't, do, if you didn't go to school, and all you focused on was just skating, and you did not work at all, how would your parents see you as, and how would your other peers see you as? Uh. I don't think I'd be able to do that. I think I'd have to work. Mm. But I for sure would have wished if I just went straight to working. Mm -hmm. But my parents didn't leave their country for their son to be a skateboarder, so I have to go to school. That's very, that's very, that's very important right there. And your parent that flies out here from a different country looking for a better life. Amazing. Yeah. Mm hmm So you gotta be thankful for everything in every moment. Yep, thankful for them. Thankful mm -hmm. for this country, giving them them uh, giving them opportunities, giving me opportunities. Exactly. See? Can't hate the United States. The United States is giving you everything you have. You can't, exactly. That's why I love the United States. Mm. I am a prideful. American, exactly. As I am a prideful Latino. Send your name out there. Um, uh, I'm adding a little bonus questions on here. Do you think uh, is it right now? You say he's a Latino. You think there's a lot? Can you name at least eight pro skater Latinos in the moment? 
Uh, Chico Brown is. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mart- Sorry, Martinez. Sorry, Martinez. Uh. He might be Brazilian. Uh, right. uh, oh, he's Argentinian. Or, oh, okay. or, yeah, he's Argentinian, but he's still, you know, Aladdin. Mm-hmm. But, uh. Alexis Ramirez, I think his, his last name is. Mm-hmm. It's on Mafia. Mm-hmm. Eric Valdez is Mexican. But is he pro? Oh, that's true. He's not pro. Mm. Uh, let's see who else is the pro skater. I think. Uh, Robbie Russo. Mm. Ronnie Sandoval. Ronnie Sandoval? Mm-hmm. He's a Mexican. He's more white mm. than Mexican, but he's Mexican. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's Louis nice. Lopez. Louis Lopez, of course. Um, what's that one guy? He's on. He's on girl. I forgot his name. Girl. Yeah, I think it was on chocolate. He's. I think he's. He's on chocolate. A girl. I don't know what his name is. Uh, now he like he likes driving cars and stuff. Driving cars. Yeah, I don't know his name. Oh, uh, Daniel Espinosa. Yeah. He wasn't on chocolate. I think he was on on. Uh, mm-hmm. He was on cliche. Mm. Uh, Cliche died and yeah. his career sort of ended. Mm. Starting to see more Hispanic pro skaters, more Hispanic skating, more. I hope to see more. Mm. <sighs> only, only the future can tell. Yes, uh, one more before the final countdown. If you would have had a kid, what would you make? Would you force them to skate, or would you make them be their own person? Let them be their own person, but I would try everything in my ability uh-huh. to be hyped and skating. Like, you know, what if your son, you know, you had a son, and he just wants to instantly just game. Just be a gamer, you know? Game. And he's a gamer, but one thing's for sure. Mm-hmm. Boy, girl, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm for sure going to let, not let them, I'm for sure going to teach them how to swim. Okay. That is one thing I will be 100%. That's something on. I have to do more. I have to teach myself how to swim. So I can deal with fins and I can deal with regularly. So. Being in the water is tight. It is. Love swimming. I love surfing. Before before we end this morning, you got anything out there to say to the people? Anything particular? Uh, be your own person. Be your own person, guys. Do what makes yourself happy. I mean, yeah, do what makes you happy. Exactly. Don't impress people. Uh... Have a nice house instead of having a nice car. I'd rather have a nice, sick-ass house than drive a sh- nice car. Those I would rather, yeah, like, I would rather have a nice house and drive an old car yeah. than have a shit house in a shit neighborhood and drive the best car. It's a beautiful word, uh, right there. Uh. What else? Uh, uh, don't let social media run your life. Oh. Just because, uh, just because you didn't post it, it does not mean that it didn't happen. It did happen. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Just because uh, your significant other. They didn't do something for you on social media. Or say your friend they didn't do something on social media for you. Oh. <clears throat> Does not mean that they don't feel that way. One other thing. Mm. Just because you didn't post your mom on Mother's Day or your dad on Father's Day does not mean that you don't love your parents. Wow. Look at that guy. Stay away. Social media doesn't mean anything. They didn't show the true colors of what they are and who they really are. Those are very bright, those are very bright words right there. Very bright statement too as well. 
Also, uh, well, I got more shit. Let me see. It was top of my head. Uh, I said, be your own person. Uh, stop caring about how much money you have. I mean, for sure, you're going to need money to survive or whatever, but what I mean is uh, stop trying to show off that you have money. Mm. Stop trying to dress nice. It's not everyone can dress nice. Okay. Oh. Uh, love yourself because... At the end of the day, you can't do nothing about it. But love yourself. Wow. Uh, find something you love doing. Fortunately for myself, I found it pretty early on. But exactly. Uh, try things. Try all types of things. Uh, believe me, you'll find it. And when you find it, it'll be... It don't mean everything. Wow. <laughs> Very important words. Also, guys, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want more of this stuff right here, let me know down in the comments. And who else should I bring on here? I think I got some next people bringing on, actually. Stay safe and stay away from weirdos.